Hello everyone, my name is Nuclear Potato, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use mouse and keyboard on Fortnite Battle Royale or just Fortnite in general. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, it's easier than you might think to be able to use mouse and keyboard on Fortnite. Uh, some of you may have seen this already or not know at all. But basically, all you have to do is I'll do it right now. In fact, I'll go into the the options just so you can see as I'm plugging it in if I go to input please attach keyboard in order to change it so I'm just gonna plug in my mouse first right. the mouse is connected then plug in my keyboard okay I had to I had to press enter on it then to to say then all you have to do wiggle your mouse and there you go um, I have this is all my bindings if you want to look I've kept most of them the same, except putting some stuff on thumb mouse buttons, changing the map to tab, uh, caps lock is inventory, um, and yeah, so, uh, yeah, basically all you have to do is plug it in, and that's it. The only thing is, is when you're in the menu, there's no mouse cursor at all. As you can see, I'm running my mouse up and down that. There's no mouse cursor around it or anywhere. If I uh, move my mouse across these... Oh, God, it's so hard to find. Yeah, it's, it's hard to find stuff, basically. But all you need to do to access the play button is just run your mouse all the way down to the bottom right corner and then move the, to, the, to the top left slowly, and there you go. You're straight on it. So I'm just going to play a quick game um, with this don't really care if i die straight away it's just to show you that it actually works so uh yeah let's go into it but the, basically the only way you can change sensitivities if your mouse have it, m mouse has a dpi setting on it get away from me uh if your mouse has a dpi setting on it so like this is i think it's 1200 dpi which is what i normally play on 1200 and then uh this is the lowest what i used to play on and then 1200 is basically what i play on all the time now um so all the controls are going to be the same as what it would be on what it would be on PC. Uh, it feels exactly like PC would. I've only played on PC twice, and that was on Black Ops 3 at my friend's house. Um, but it, it does feel like PC. Oh, god damn it! I didn't mean to deploy that. <laughs> so I'm still not entirely used to it. Um, I haven't well I've only played squads and duos I've won on I've won five times on squads but I still need to get used to the keyboard and mouse oh what's this oh blue semi-auto that's gonna do us nicely so as you can see it looks exactly like it would on PC it moves exactly like it would on PC um, just because it's direct PC port at least I think so people forget always to loot these ammo boxes and that really annoys me well, apart from when it's, you know, me getting the loot. Got some nades. These are really useful for, for destroying people when they're in buildings. I'm not very good at solo. It's because I've got no one to communicate with and you can't get down. And the closest I got was 17th. Um, which I suppose isn't too bad. So, um, if you mouse have thumb mouse buttons, I recommend putting the back thumb mouse button on your pickaxe. And the... The front one on building a ramp just because you'll need that a lot um it's really rare that you won't need an, that you won't find an occasion where you need to build a ramp um like now but i haven't got any wood um where is this chest it's in its wall somewhere No, no one searched this building. Okay. Right, I'll take that. Um, grab that and drink it. There's a jump pad over there. Don't really need that. There's some ammo over there. There's someone coming in. I'm not very good at aiming well. But, um, you can also just switch to your pickaxe and then just spam E all through. Okay, where's that? Probably gonna need these nades, but... 
Uh, if you want to get ammo and resources, then just get out your pickaxe and just spam me. Right, so I'm just going to press tab and look where the circle is, so I'll just head up to Pleasant Park, I suppose. I don't really want to go out the front here, but I guess I'm going to have to. I'm pretty sure you can loot these, but someone's already looted them. I didn't even know until the game glitched out that you could loot these boxes. Also, if you have any questions about the mouse and keyboard, leave them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. Um, a lot of the questions that you might have have already been answered. Um, if you want to know what uh, mouse and keyboard I have, it's just a, uh, a budget keyboard and mouse bundle. I also did say here that I have a Magic Eagle Havoc mouse and keyboard combo, uh, but it got cut out. I also said that I recommend having a mouse mat because it's easier. So. Also, I recommend getting a uh, mouse wire bungee, just because mine keeps getting caught on shit and it's really annoying, and I really need to get one. And also a uh, wrist, uh, some wrist supports for your mouse and keyboard, which is what I really need. Are they teaming? No. I don't know how he didn't die from those first shots. That guy's definitely still... Yep, he's in the second. Oh God, he's in the white hangar. Uh, white warehouse. I'm not sure if I should use my M16 or my shotgun. Mm -hmm. I suppose it's a safe bet just going for M16 until I get in there. Just in case, look, the other side or something. Ooh. Oh man, oh, shit's intense. Uh, now we reload. I reckon I'm pretty good on gear, uh, unless I find a uh, scoped assault rifle, uh, which I probably won't. I'm just gonna check if there's any loot in here. Probably not, because this is a popular spot. I just want to find some chests just so I can try and get like a scar or something, maybe a semi. Uh, sniper. So if you have any questions about the game, I'll try my best to answer them as well, like what kind of stuff, what you want to try and get to get started, what kind of weapons are the best, the rarities, whatever, and um, if you want that, just say in the comments and I'll make a video on it. Uh, I just want to help people uh, understand the game more. Because I've been basically playing it non-stop since it came out. Oh, that's a splod drop. Where? Oh, I think it's a retail row. Oh, it landed right on retail row. Which is where I was heading anyway, so... GG. If I actually get a win now, and this is just... Oh, there's someone other. Uh, this is just me recording randomly. And playing randomly. I don't normally play solo at all. If I win now, I'm going to be so fucking surprised. If I even get 10th, I'll be surprised. But there's a guy over here. I want to be wary of him. Also, a thing to be mindful of is that controllers have heavy, heavy aim assist. Uh, so if you're in close quarters, then be mindful of that because it might be hard. Oh, there's a drop over there. Guarantee a lot of people are going to it, though. So I'll just sit back a little minute. Let him loot it. And then I'll try and spray him down. He's hit hard, dude. Like, hard. Hit all three of that burst. The first burst. And I hit one bullet on him. After that. I'm starting to like the semi-auto. I didn't used to like it. But now I know how accurate it is and how much damage it can do. It's actually really fucking good. You best not have ran off. Because I want that loot. He probably did run off. There is. Oh, he's got a sniper. Got him! Right, now that... This is just a... Oh, I'm going to swap it for my bandages. Got any good loot, I'll swap it for my bandages. Got like 12 seconds, it starts shrink shrinking, but I'm right next to it, so it's cool. 
Oh, look at that. Mm. Oh, legendary bolt action. Right, uh, let's start heading this way. I was saying here about how you need high ground and how it gives you an advantage. And uh, this is a perfect place to do it. Someone's setting up here and they see you running down here. It's such an easy kill for them. I'm just going to keep my uh, sword rifle out just in case. Um, it's also useful to gather quite a bit of resources just so you can make you out these kind of mountains here um if you're in a pickle or it's where the circle lands that is someone's base up there if i hit that with a sniper a few times it'll go down mm, might have abandoned it just outside the circle. No, I don't need to show my cover. I'll go this way. You probably want to destroy a part of the route that you've just gone up. Because then people won't, uh, yeah, people won't. That should have been him. He was running straight towards where the shots are coming from. Oh, we made top 10. Got him. That's this one. It's best to not build a base until you're like third, maybe. Just because it's really obvious to every other player. I wish you'd stop moving. He's hit hard, dude. Come on. He's down. I didn't kill him, though. Just don't want to get wasted. Still a guy over there somewhere. He's probably running in with the circle. I'm just going to... I'm sitting still and he doesn't hit me. Is that the guy in there? Where is that? I'll just bait in the shot then. How did how did he hit all those? That is really confusing. I don't know how he just hit all those shots. What fucking gun is he using? I didn't mean to press that. No, I didn't mean to press that. Is that to move around? Oh, it had to be at that house. That guy is still behind me, though. I'm going to wait till, like, 30 seconds and I'll start moving in. I said to my friends, I'll be like 10 minutes making this video. It's been so much longer than that. Okay. This is also a really easy way to get down mountains as well. If you have enough materials, of course. And say this is enough without taking damage, you know. Oh man, I'm running right out in the open. I don't want to get that spot.
I'm gonna get fucking bean canned. Yeah, he's got a legendary scar. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. There's no possible way that I'm supposed to do that. Especially when he's got a fucking... Oh my god. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.